and welcome to the first episode of Draw with Crafty Corn. I hope you guys enjoy this episode and let's get straight into it. So, first things you're going to need on the material list is a piece of blank paper and then you'll need a pencil, preferably one with a rubber on the end so that you can rub out. Anyway, let's get drawing. So, get your piece of paper down on a flat surface. Today, I'll be showing you how to draw Dog Day, okay? He's one of my friends in the Smiling Critters. So, zoom back on the piece of paper. Now, what you need to do first things first is... So, what you do is... You get... Yeah... So, you need to draw... You need to draw the eyes... First, like that. Then you need to do something like that. And then you need to draw another eye on the other side. Got that? Perfect. Then draw these. Then carry on this little line. And draw a little triangle like that. Make sure these two lines are connected. Then fill in that triangle. Perfect. Then you go. Then you need to. Draw something similar to a cat's mouth. And another one like that. This is the beginning of Dog Day's mouth. So now, you need to carry and two lines together like that. If you make any mistakes, make sure you to use your rubber and draw on lightly. Then, draw an R straight like that and then around and then here draw another R so you should have this you got that perfect so now you need to go like that and then connect it like that so you should have that and then Put two little U's like that and carry that round. Copy this to the other side. There you go, you should have something like this now. Now it's time to draw the ears. This part is really fun. So you do this and that and then if it goes out to paper that's fine. So you just pretend to draw like that and carry it on until you have something like that. Oh, and by the way, make sure to add in that, okay? Then copy that on the other side to make another ear. Now, do the eyes like this. Perfect. So then, for, so then you go like this, there, and then go to your booty. We love the booty. So then once you've done that, you need to draw in the pendant. So draw a circle, and then a little triangle, and then do as many triangles as you can fit on to make something like that. Then line line to make the necklace got that perfect so now make a, some more lines like this but these lines need to carry around all the way like that perfect so now do for your arms go like that a bit onto the head and just carry on until the paper runs out and do the same like that. That gives you one arm. Then go up here like that and draw like that. Perfect. You should be good now. Okay, good job. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add in a bit of shading. I'm not going to colour this in but I'm just going to put in the black for the mouth and the black 
for his eyes and his nose as well. I'll show you me doing that right now. So, as you can see here, I'm filling in the nose and the mouth. These are the only two areas, if you are not colouring, that you should draw, that you should fill in. As you can see here, I'm using some straight lines and some little circular techniques to get it done quicker. Just a reminder that I am quickly doing this little tutorial. If if you spend much, much more time on this, it will look much, much more better than mine. And then you can see here, I'm using these same techniques to colour in the eyes. Oh, and by the way, when you're colouring in the eyes, make sure not to colour in the little circles that we made inside of the eyes because they are the pupils. Okay, so now with this one, I've made him looking to the side. If you, you to make him look forward or in any other direction, possibly up or down, just position your pupils. So this one is off to the side and this one is slightly. If you want it to look straight forward, do them in the centre there. Okay, and if you want them looking up, make them as high as you physically can while still including the full pupil. If you want them to look down, do the opposite as when you made them go up. Remember that I'm just quickly doing these. That if you spend much, much more time, they will look much, much more better. So, just filling them in. Okay, that was it for the first episode of Drawing with Crafty Corn. In the second episode, I will show you how to colour this in and outline it with a pen. So, once it's all coloured in and outlined with a pen, it should look like this, which is a already pre-made drawing that I made of Dog Day. I'm sneaking into his room now because he loves it so much that he's hung it up. Yeah, this is what it might look like. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Drawing with Crafty Corn. See you in the next one. Bye!